So for this one, I'm going to read the same question I did for the previous video, but I'm going to do it as a draw question instead because it's, it's worded really nicely and it has all the same stuff that a draw question would have. So let me just quickly go over it again. Uh, Joe runs a small company. The company is moving to a purpose-built office. Joe has an IT expert for Joe asks an IT expert for advice about suitable IT systems. The IT expert has proposed several alternative solutions. One solution is to set up a local area network, so a LAN that will provide wired connection for five PCs, a file server, a backup server, two network printers, secure internet access, wireless access uh, for laptops and other mobile devices. Uh, okay, I'm not going to read the rest of it. So this is all I really care about and maybe this part as well. So I'm going to open my PowerPoint and show how I would do this. So let's go to a blank one. Let's create a new thing here. And again, in the exam, you don't have to have the things drawn how they, you think they should look. So for example, you don't have to have something that looks like a PC. What I've always done is simply um, drawn a box and put PC inside of it put the word PC, maybe PC1 inside of it. So let me get my devices first. I'm going to have five, five PCs. So let me do shapes. Let me do that one. Uh, let's call that PC1, PC1. Let's copy this five times. I think that's five. Yep. So let's call this one PC2. So bear with me, it's taken a bit of time, but I wanted to go through the whole thing with you guys just so you understand why. PC3, PC4, and PC5. Okay, so let's lay them out so I can move them all at once when I need to. PC4, and PC5. Okay, what's the next thing? It says I need a file server. All right, so let me just copy this same one again. And let's just label it file server. Uh, next, we have a backup server. All I'm doing here is getting all the devices needed for this diagram, right? Um, two network printers. So I'm going to have, uh, let's say, printer one. And I'm going to have this just copy that one, make my life easier. Let's call this one printer two. Um, secure internet access. Okay, so we're going to need a router. We know that. And wireless access. Okay, so we're going to need a, a switch. Now, wireless access for laptops and other mobile devices. The switch does not give wireless access. What we're going to have to do is have a switch and have a wireless access points connected to the switch. So by TCH, we're going to have maybe one or two wireless access points, right? But let's deal with the PCs first. So let me move this all the way over here. The switch ideally should always be in the middle because you're going to have so many devices connected to it. So wired connection for five PCs. Now, mine is going to be very messy, but just draw your lines neat. Typically speaking, you want to have a two-way arrow. So go to insert for me, uh, shapes, and there it is. A two-way arrow going from there to there. Let's change the thickness of this to about three or four, right? Two-way arrow, PC1 going into the switch. It needs to be a two-way arrow, uh, in my opinion, because it shows that the information or the data goes in both ways. So it goes in both directions. It sends and it receives. Let me put one here for this PC. Let's just put all of them into this one. Let me do another one. I'm just connecting the PC to the switch using Ethernet because it's specified that they have to be wired. So Ethernet is probably the easiest way. Now, there are these weird things where you can actually connect it via a USB, but I, I don't recommend it. Just use Ethernet. Um, okay, so let, let's, let's get the devices connected first, and then let's say how they're going to be connected. So even though I might use Ethernet here and down here, I might use wireless or Wi-Fi, it's still going to be the same arrow, but in between the arrows, I might just have a text box that says Ethernet or Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, whatever the case is. All right, so let's link the file server. Now, because this is a company, I would always suggest having the file server linked uh, using uh, wires as well, just because it's going to be more stable in, in, in most cases. Not in every single case, but in most cases, it will be more stable. But let's leave it like that. We have the backup server as well, so we're going to have that one over there. Let's just paste the arrow. 
uh, that one. And then what's next? We have two network printers. The printers could be wireless. It doesn't, I mean, obviously it didn't specify here because I just chose this question at random, but the printer could be wireless. So what I'm going to do is maybe maybe make one of them wireless and maybe make one wired just so I can show how you would connect those. So if I remember anyway, let's connect that to that. Let's connect this one to there and s oh, not that. Same thing for the other one. Connect it to there, but again, remember I'm going to make one wired and one wireless just because there's no real reason other than just because I wanted to show the difference. Now, what else does it say? Secure internet access. Now, remember, a switch connects you to devices inside the network. I actually don't need internet for all of this to work perfectly fine. But what I need internet for is for me to connect to um, the internet, obviously. So let me move this up here, actually. Let me put the backup server there just so I can have a clear line to the internet. So I'm going to copy this. And what I would probably put here is a router. Now, you typically don't need to put in stuff like a firewall. However, it did specify that you need to have secure internet access. The best way to do that is use a hardware firewall. A hardware firewall. Not 100% necessary. You could just use a VPN as well. But the best thing to do, use a hardware firewall. That's, that's my opinion. Uh, okay, so this would be, yeah, the firewall would be in front of the router. This doesn't really matter too much. If you put it behind it as well, that could work. Um, for this level, it's not really a big issue. So hardware firewall. And then finally, I like to use the cloud one for the internet thing. So I'm going to go to insert, go to shapes. Obviously, on your paper, you just draw something that looks like the cloud. Where is it? 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 Uh, okay, it's taking too long. Okay, here we go. So this is the internet. So I'm connected now to the internet, obviously using my, my wires. So let me copy one more of this. Uh, let's go from router to switch. Let's copy that one. Let's go from router again to hardware firewall. Give that extra level of security there. And let's go from hardware firewall to internet. Now, you could have replaced this hardware firewall with a VPN. So there's no way for the router to get internet access unless it, unless it has a VPN or the PCs have a VPN. But just for ease, I'm just going to leave a hardware firewall. Um, wireless access for laptops. Okay, there's one other thing I didn't mention, which was the laptop wireless access. So for this one, I'm going to use a wireless access point. Um, it's normally labeled as WAP. That's just wireless access point. But again, it's always a good idea to just have your box, label them, and maybe describe what it does. So this is going to be a wireless access point. I'm going to have just have some random laptops over here. So let me copy these three. Say laptop three. Oh, that should probably be one. Sorry. Laptop one. Laptop two. Laptop three. Okay. Now, none of these... Are going to be connected via wires because i'm using the wireless access point however for the purpose of this diagram i have to use the wires let me just show what i'm going to do after this all right so now i can this is how i would do my diagram now i'm going to start saying how i'm going to connect them so if I go back to insert, I'm going to use a text box, text box, here we go. And for this one, I'm going to say Ethernet. That's how I would connect this. Let me just make this highlighted like so maybe. ETH, Ethernet, okay? Not internet, but Ethernet, so the Ethernet cable, the one that you plug in the back of your consoles or your laptop when you want to get that good speed at home or that stable connection at home. All of these would be, actually, let me put it here. It's a bit more obvious that all of these connect to the switch using Ethernet. Uh, there as well. And one over here. 
All right, the backup server, again, I would use Ethernet for that. We want stable, we want uh, fast, we want no connections being interrupted because there's a massive glass in the middle of the room or there's concrete cables, you're good to go. I would also do file server as Ethernet. As I said earlier, I'm going to do one printer as Ethernet. So I'm going to put Ethernet there and I'm going to do one printer as Wi-Fi, right? Because why not? Just to show how you could connect them. They didn't specify here because I just made this question up at random, but you could use Wi-Fi as well. Wireless access point. This is a weird one for some of you. You're going to actually have to connect it to the switch using Ethernet. So in your classrooms tomorrow or whenever, or if you go to work, typically look up and you'll see something that looks like a router or, or a Wi-Fi range extender, but it always has a cable running away from it going to a switch or a router somewhere, right? So that's what this is, a wireless access point. And I'm going to use Wi-Fi for these laptops down here because it said, well, it could be laptops, tablets, whatever. I just chose laptops just because it would have been easier for me because I'm lazy. Um, router to the switch, Ethernet, seems like a good option there. Let me just drag this down so I have space. Sorry about the messy diagram. So Ethernet there. So from router to switch, I would do Ethernet. From hardware firewall to router, Ethernet all the way. And from hardware firewall or router to internet, I would probably do fiber optic, right? So F-I-B-R-E-O-P-T-I-C, fiber optic. Because as a company, we typically want the best connection possible, right? It doesn't say that here, but please, if you get a question like this, read within context what it is asking for. If you're a company that um, does whatever, you're most likely going to want a fiber connection. I'm at home now. I'm paying £25 for a good fiber connection. Very fast, very solid. I'm uploading videos. It works fine. £25. That's not too bad, right? Now, if you're a company that needs super, super speed, maybe you want to pay a bit more. But again, look at the question. If you're a small household, maybe fiber optic is not what you want. They might specify in the question, very unlikely, but they might specify that you're going to be using ADSL, right? So for this one, where you go from hardware firewall to internet or from router to internet, whichever one you've chosen, you could just put um, copper wire and that's perfectly fine because that's the older technology still in use a lot today. But I'm with Virgin, Virgin doesn't use copper wire until they actually get inside the house. Uh, but in any case, fiber optic or copper wire should be fine. Um, I could add a few more things to this. So let's say you're someone working from home or you want to get access to the, the backup server or the file server. How do you actually do that? So what you're going to want to do, let's say you have a phone. I've used laptops enough. So let's say phone, right? And your phone, this is inside your house. So you're going to need all the stuff that you need to connect to the internet. So you're going to have a mobile phone. You're going to have um, a router. Typically speaking, when you're at home, your router your wireless access point, your um, modem, and your switch are all in this one device called router. So you don't need to draw multiple like you would inside of a company. And then you're going to connect to the internet as well. Now, the difference is, um, let me connect this first. When you connect to the internet here, because we're, we're going to need to have a VPN connected to um, us, you, I would do the internet in between router and router here and then i would put a vpn line going across but because it's going to look messy what i'm going to do instead i am going to just uh, connect this to this and i'm going to say vpn and maybe the router connects to the internet using let's say fiber optic as well let's put this one back here fiber optic as well and the router to the phone we know that has to be Wi-Fi. There's no other way. If it were um, a laptop or a desktop, we could say Ethernet. It really doesn't matter how you want to connect these. Let me just link this one. And I would do Wi-Fi for this uh, Wi-Fi for this one here. Okay. So hopefully that's clear enough. And again, this part down here where we have the phone and the router, that's going to be inside your house. And th this is how you would get to 
the, the, the file server or the backup server inside your company, some people, they would put the internet in the middle here so that there's a clear connection between this router and that router and simply put VPN, a VPN line going all the way across. That's perfectly fine, but, ag oh, but again, that would have been messy for me, so I'll leave it like this. This is fine. I think this is okay. Maybe you then describe all the PCs are connected. So have a text box somewhere, well, not text box for you, but like uh, an annotation somewhere saying PC is connected to the switch all via Ethernet. Um, backup server connected, backup server, file server, uh, and printer one connected to the switch using Ethernet as well, just so it's very clear to the person reading. This is not the most detailed diagram, but this should get you everything you need. Any questions, let me know. I'll try my best to answer as many as I can before Friday. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. Goodbye.